Welcome to another edition of the Tom Green Show in video format. If you're listening on the podcast, welcome to another edition of the Tom Green Podcast. As always, with every video show that I've done in this studio, I crack open a cold one. And as I said on my show with Meredith Corbin, it's Diet Coke. I realize I have not done a show in this studio in a few years, and I've come back to it, and there's a reason why I have come back to said studio, because this is the last Tom Green video show in this studio. Now, no, be not worried. Please be not worried. This is most certainly not the last show I will be doing in my career. Because I'm just a young 24-year-old man. I'm getting my career started. You'll see, you'll hear a lot of sports takes and a lot of crazy things in the future. But however, whenever you leave the place that you started, it's hard. It's very hard. And I wanted to say goodbye to the studio, as only I should, with a Tom Green show like this. And I have a statement prepared for everyone to listen to as far as what's going on. Here I go. I knew this day was coming, but like just about everything life throws at us, it came sooner than expected. Once again, this is my last video show for the Tom Green Studios. From the summer of 2010 to the spring of 2019, there have been a lot of great moments shared with friends in this little nook. Yes, the Tom Green Studios is located in my own basement, as yes, this is a basement, as you can see. Thankfully, the sound is awesome here, so that's why I filmed here to start out. And before the podcast became a thing, this is where the dream began. When I went to Europe with the Michigan Ambassadors of Music in the summer of 2010, my mom bought a video camera. I knew that once the trip was over, the camera was basically useless because mom would never use it. So guess what? I decided to take it upon myself and use it. And boy, did I use this thing well. My early content when I was in high school was filmed on said video camera. Yes, the weird humor, satire, fantasizing about sports women, and even crushing on the old Fox Sports Detroit girls, as I received this poster back in 2013 when the Fox Sports 1 was launched. Yes, I still have it. And yes, it's been signed by a few of them. All that content was filmed on here. If you haven't seen any of that content yet, it's still up on the channel, on TV 23. And if you choose to see it, you've been forewarned of how cringeworthy it may be. But hey, everyone has to start on their dream somewhere. And this place, this nook, is where I started mine. Since the summer of 2010, I've met and networked with over 40 different reporters and athletes from all parts of the country. I won't name every single one of them on here because, for some of them, it has been a long, long time since we last reconvened. But I will name those that I've networked with over the past 365 days, and I hope they are all listening. They are as follows. Audra Martin, Heather Park, Trevor Thompson, Johnny Kane, who looks like my cousin, who just became an airman, Adam Kitchen, just saying. John Keating, Lisa R. Corey, Craig Monroe, Brooke Fletcher, Amy Andrews, Emily Walden, Lomas Brown, Dan Miller, Anthony Bellino, Tim Twentyman, Laura Rutledge, Tori Petri, Jenny Taft, Mike Martin, Greg Jones, Courtney Welch, Matt Shepard, Shannon Spake, Denise Pulverine, Betsy Kling, Molly McGrath, Kelly Rowe, Jess Boylock, Bridget Linton, Gab Cruz, Mickey York, Garen Austin, Julia Morales, and last but certainly not least, in fact, among the first of those in my, that come to my mind, Kelly Kroll. I wanted to tell all of you that this place, 
This little nook here in Essexville, Michigan, is where I began to follow my dreams. I can't thank all of you enough for saying hi to me at the countless amount of games I've attended. I hope that someday I can get each and every one of you on my show, whether we talk about our careers, sports, life, whatever floats your boat. There's a reason why I've come into contact with all of you. I hope that someday we can all reconvene and perhaps propel me to the career in sports I've always wanted. I'm working hard at that, as so are all of you, believe me. And I have this, this Cubs shirt on as well as this Tigers jersey hanging because, yes, I'm a fan of both teams. And I've networked with both Chicago and Detroit people, as, as said, why I have both teams represented up here. And for those who followed me since high school and I thought to myself, who is, who is the first woman that's ever going to appear on this show? Well, it happened. Didn't happen in this nook, but it happened on the podcast. Sarah Brooks, formerly from Fox Sports Arizona, was the first woman to ever appear on the Tom Green show slash podcast. So we've broken that barrier. And as for the big, the first professional team reporter, that was Meredith Gorman. She was the first big-time sports reporter to come on the podcast, and that's still up on my YouTube, as always. As she said on that show, it only takes one yes to get things started. I hope that that yes has led to more people in the Boston area listening to my takes and for someone in the right place to hear my talents. I also can't thank Meredith enough for giving me a chance. I certainly hope that I've hit it out of the park. As for the guests that have appeared on this show in person in this studio, or upstairs in the podcast studio. I have many thanks to all of you. I'm only one talking head and one voice. You guys help bring more voices out to Tom Green Media. And as I said to start this little show, this by no means is the last show. This is simply the end of an era to my shows appearing in this childhood studio where I've, where I've been for almost 20 years. The show has successfully gone on the road. If you've listened before, we did a show from Elgin, Illinois. We are just simply moving to a new studio. And when that day comes, I will perhaps show you the digs and everything. And in that new studio, I hope that all the networkers that I mentioned earlier can make an appearance. Whether it's in person, over the phone, whatever they're comfortable with, whatever life throws at us. Just like this curveball moving out of my childhood home. It would mean a lot. And as for hoping to get in started in, this, in the career, in my actual career, as now I've graduated from Saginaw Valley State University, I'll become a lot, a lot more aggressive in that search. I've already made many applications. I've already been interviewed multiple times by a station I will not name for privacy and professional reasons. As a college graduate, it's what I have to do. I have to get started. I, the, the dream has to become reality. As Michael Kay said, Derek Jeter, where fantasy becomes reality. Here's to a great ending to this studio and a great banning to a new time in the Tom Green podcast. Tom Green Media, and everyone that has been interested in where I've gone since I have started. So once again, I'd like to thank everyone that has followed me since the beginning, as this is where the beginning literally was, in these days in this home. So it is said, so let it be done. Like I said, this is not the end of the actual show. This is just simply the end of this era of the show. We'll have more content in the near future on the podcast, on the show, in video, whatever we can do. But just remember that this is where I started. Do not forget where you started. A lot of people are behind me, and I can't thank them for it enough. Let's hope that this is the start to a great career in Tom Green Media, in Tom Green Sports Media, and whatever I do. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, this is not the end, but this is only the beginning.